Is this on? Hi, my name is Kess. I'm 25 years old. And from Florida. And I don't know how to swim. So some of the things that you may need when you go swimming is a head cap. I recommend this. If you are a black girl, if you are a white girl, if you are a Hispanic girl, if you are a girl, protect your hair. I would say protect your hair and get you a head cap. Some people don't. Some people do. But for me, I love. Um, get you a bathing suit that you feel confident in. Feel so, so confident. Let me show you. This little, this little, this little, this little bathing suit. That's confidence. I need you to be confident in your swimsuit. Also, to bring a towel, get goggles. You guys, I got goggles, and I know I probably look like a freak. I'm gonna go put them on. Hold up. <laughs> okay. Listen, I was gonna come for pay. Hey, listen, these right here, huh, baby? <laughs> Nobody gonna see me on a on the waters. But you guys, having these goggles are so, so helpful because first off, they have like these suction um, thing that happens when you wear them. So it's like no water can get in. But when you're swimming and you have the goggles, it gives you the freedom to actually see where you're going. Um, I personally have not swim underwater without these. So I don't, I don't even know what it looks like not to have goggles. I heard it's like kind of like a little hazy. But if you are fearful of swimming, having these is so, 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 so helpful because it allows you to see. It allows for you to know where you're going. So get you some goggles. Yeah. And you guys, I got this from Amazon. The brand is, um, it's Agenda, right? Or again, again. Again, it's okay. Just get you get you one of these. Yeah, because it's super helpful. Got this from Amazon. Again, again, I'm gonna leave it alone. And then we want to talk about this little, little, this little, this little, this little bit and soup, this little, hey. Let's talk about how I was trying to be the baddest babe at YMCA. My biggest competition is seven to 13 year olds. I felt that it was super important for me to feel confident in my fit in the water. And because this is a new experience and I am challenging myself, I wanted to come feeling my best, looking my best. And that I did this um, onesie. This one piece bathing suit is from Speedo. And I feel like the swim girlies wear this. I mean, I went from beginner to swim girly real quick. <laughs> okay. And I got the Speedo. I got it in navy. I thought that it looked really, 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 really good on brown skin. And I just feel confident. And when I swim, I may be a beginner, but I look good. Yeah. <laughs> It's about how you start. Yeah. And this is my second, um, this is my second session. I didn't film the first one because I wanted to see if I could live to do a second, to, to, to see the second session. And I wanted to be able to give you guys a good review. And I wanted y'all to see the excitement that I have to learn something new and to be in the waters and to challenge myself and just the importance of getting out there. On a serious, serious, serious note, you guys, I think that it is extremely important for all women, for all men, for kids from literally people be what starting swimming classes with their kids at months, like no matter what age range you are in, it is so important to learn how to swim, learn how to swim. It is an art. It just makes you feel good about yourself or learn how to feel good about yourself. But then also too, it's just so important to have the confidence. To be in front of a body of water and know what to do is so important. 
Don't wait for your cousin and them to throw you in the water. And I know some people probably have traumatic experiences. Um, and if you feel comfortable enough, share your traumatic um, swimming experiences. And I just want to reaffirm you that you can always learn. There are people out here who are licensed to teach you, who are experienced to teach you. And when you understand the fundamentals of swimming, it'll be like, oh my goodness, this is what it took? This is what I had to learn so that I could be in the waters in, Teco, in Caicos, Turks and Caicos? How are you going on all these islands and don't know how to swim? How are you going on these crews and don't know how to swim? Mm. But that's not my business. Hey, just, get, just go to your local YMCA. Go to Google swim classes in my area and see what you can find. But I do want to point out a lot of my black girlies don't know how to swim. Take some classes. I want to see pictures of you guys in the water, not on the side, looking at them. And I know there's a lot of variations of why people don't know how to swim, their traumatic experiences. Hair, hair is so big in our community as well. And I understand that like submerging your hair underwater all the time is not um, ideal, but black girls, let's learn how to swim. Black girls, let's kill that, what is it? The stereotype that black people don't swim. Black men as well. Cause we do swim and it's starting with me follow me don't follow me session I stayed extra my workout was only 30 minutes but I stayed extra I stayed for like an hour I love to swim I feel like I'm from New York. Like, are you from New York even? Nah, but. <laughs> I love swimming so much. I love swimming. I love swimming. It was so good. Until like last week, I had no idea what to do with water. It was me, water. Water, me. I'm looking at water, water looking at me. And we looking at each other. Like, but I feel so much more confident. I mean, I'm not the best swimmer and I'm still learning, but ah! I'm so happy. Now after, now after you have swam good, I got this. I've never tried this before. It's called 
Izzy Sparkling Blackberry. And then I got me some Chipotle is my life. I'm gonna take my first bites and I'm gonna let you guys go. So we'll try this. This is the Izzy Sparkling Blackberry Juice. Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. That's Izzy. Sparkling blackberry. I love sparkling stuff. Like carbonated drinks are my thing. A little picante and my burrito. Let's see. Ready? Let's see. Mm. That was a big bite, Kathleen. I don't know if hungry, but I know you that hungry. Really good. Bye, y'all.